So, one thing we haven't shared with you is <laughs> the nightmare that we're currently going through. We managed to get on the ship, uh, but were warned that we may be refused entry to Spain. I can't remember the last time I was this nervous about anything. Morning! Those of you just joining us, we're on our way to Spain. We're going to spend four weeks, just over four weeks, going around Spain. Um, and if you guys have got any suggestions where we should go, get in the comments below. But right now, we're on our way to Plymouth. We ain't quite got enough fuel to get down to Plymouth and get us over to Spain. But I'm not feeling up here. Check out the price of this, look. 144. Let's see how much it is when we get to Spain. Honey, you eating again? Yes, thank you. This is so we don't have to spend money on the ferry. Cheeky quarter pounder with cheese meal. Then on the way to the ferry. A little bit excited now. We're just queuing to get on the ferry. Let's see if we bottom out like we did last time. You remember that? Mm. One of the last jobs that we've got to do is take the milk, um, a pack of bacon and half a block of cheese out of the fridge. I think then that is all of our Brexit challenges sorted. It's just the paperwork. That cheese is dead to worry about now. Deadly cheese. Yeah. Is That's it a what? ninja cheese or something? Straight down there. We're going to grind. Yeah, we did it. We were straight down the middle last time as well. This was bad. Brace yourself. Brace Thank yourself. Thank you. Whatever. Going down with very Jesus. Steep. Okay. Yeah. This was bad last time. I think we knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Should have gone fast and we would have got some air time. But yeah, sure, Harry. In this, like, how many tons? Okay, okay, how, Five about, ton. how about we just do it? Yeah, yeah. how about Left we just do it? Yeah, you can it in and do all the things. Yeah. Yeah. You might remember from last year, guys, drop down beds in the ceiling here. There you go. And another. How cool are these? I want them in the motorhome. And of course, the sofa bed that also just folds into a single. And let me show you the magic windows again, because it's daylight out there. The lights are on and we can see out just fine. Let me just go outside and look from the outside in. And there you go. The light's on in there and I can't see anything. Lindsay's checking in and letting everyone know that we're on the ferry safely. Giving them three rings. Yeah. Oh. Right, well that made everyone jump. Yeah. <laughs> the, bit, the horn going off. Laughter then. But we're moving, we're leaving port. So let's get you guys a time lapse. Still closed, same as last year. <laughs> ah, which is understandable, really. And look at these new friends we just met. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Remind us on Insta. Um, our name. Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, Yak Overland. Yak Overland on Instagram, guys. Yeah. Lovely guys. <laughs> Travelling in a Land Rover Defender. Yep. Yeah. Around Spain for three weeks. Yeah. We Fantastic. haven't found our route yet, but. We'll as of we, not either. Make it up as we go along. Planning's for wimps. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Going down. We're going to go on the floor. Right, sure. I'm going to walk everywhere and see everything. <sighs> a lift on a boat, huh? <laughs> 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 
Here she goes, she's found a duty free. And it is duty free now, I guess. I guess it is, yeah. What do you reckon? Is this enough for a 20 hour journey? <laughs> it's quite choppy. It's quite choppy this time. <laughs> feeling the, uh, the, we had a, the odd mo moment of choppiness last time, but feeling it more this yeah, time. Yeah, it feels much more choppy this time. Sorry. Look, we found a little bit of Wi Fi on the boat, and Lindsay is busy trying to reply to all the comments on our post saying we're going out to Spain. <laughs> Everyone's so lovely. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do some and not others, and I don't want to ignore them all either. So I'll be here for a few minutes yet. <laughs> all right, love. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> here we are. Okay, I think I showed you this briefly last time, but um, on the TV there is the map. Excuse me, rocking around. It is a little bit rough. Um, there's the map on that channel there. Um, up here, you've got a camera at the front of the ship um, and then CNN, BBC oh, awesome. News and many other channels you know ITV and ITV2 so you've got plenty of channels from there. There is some free Wi-Fi areas on the boat but they're not very good so don't rely on them. Maybe I suggest you download some um, movies on Netflix and BBC iPlayer for offline viewing before you're coming on the boat. Food on board, quite expensive, as is drink. I do suggest you bring some drink with you. Um, what are we drinking? A bit of Ned, Sauv Blanc. That'll tide us over for tonight. You go to the cinema, guys? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to see? Uh, Fast and Furious 9. Fast and Furious 9. Mm -hmm. And what time does it start? 9.30. And it's over two hours long. Yeah. So you're not going to be back here till like quarter to midnight. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. I tell you now, mm -hmm. me and your mum's going to be in bed. Yeah. We'll be so quiet, don't wake don't us, alright? Sneak in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's, what is it? Quarter past eleven. I don't know, my watch is running out. It's quarter past eleven, the kids are in the cinema. It's <laughs> quite, uh, quarter past eleven in French and Spanish. Right, time. okay, so quarter, quarter past, past 10, ten UK time. Kids are in the cinema, watching a movie. Listen. We're shattered. We're shattered. <laughs> for bed. We've got to wait up for the kids to come back. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Isn't it That's just? Good. Our, our new buddy Will has just put his video out and made our subscriber count go northward, which yeah. is fantastic. Thanks, Will. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah. It's fantastic. But listen, we're going to bring you guys some exciting European road trip travel videos. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button there, turn on the bell and you get notifications when we upload videos because it's going to be twice a week. Ambitious. Ambitious. Twice a week. Don't want to miss a video, so make sure you subscribe. Oh, excuse me. Right, we're off to oh, bed. <laughs> it's been a busy and stressful, emotional, worrying day, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. And we've still got that little bit of worry that when we get off, there's an issue with the with the time stamp on the PCR tip, but I'm sure we'll I'm sure it'll we'll be figure fine. it out and then I'll explain Wishful it. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Right, we're off to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Morning. Good, good morning, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the sea feels less choppy today, right? A little less choppy, yes. I'm still moving. And looking on the map, we've just woken up, and you can see. We're nearly there, we've only got a little bit left to do. Right, let's go get some breakfast. It may be going from England to Spain, but it's a French ship and masks are compulsory again. I don't think we'll ever learn. We've come in here, we're all a bit hungry and we're all going for the English breakfast, which we swore we would never have after last time. No, because I just have to two croissants. I think it's better than last time. It is better than last time, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So there you have it. Order the full English, guys. We just had a bad one last time. We have breakfast included in our, our cabin price, um, but we had to pay extra for the butter to go on the toast that came with our breakfast. <laughs> Hey George. Hi. 
Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We've just found a map, so we're going to start planning our route. We arrive in Santander. Last time we went this way to Valencia to about Villa Ricos there, and then we changed and went back. So what we just decided is rather than doing that bit again, we're going to come down to Madrid and then down to the Mercia region, meet up with our friends again in Villa Ricos and take it round. Just decided because we found a map. I think I need a hat because I'm sick of doing that in our video so I can see. <coughs> Hang on, let's try a different one. I think that might be a child one. Mom. Maybe not that one. Mine. How's that? Looks lovely. Is that the one? I think so. What do you think, George? Thumbs up? Let's do it. So one thing we haven't shared with you is <laughs> the nightmare that we're currently going through. Um, when I booked the boys' PCR tests, um, th there was a, an option to include the time and also the date of the swab. And I didn't notice it at all on Eddie's. I only just noticed it on Harry's, so I ticked it for Harry's. And we've actually ended up with two PCR test results, both saying negative. One includes the date and time of the swab and one just includes the date. Um, we managed to get on the ship, uh, but were warned that we may be refused entry to Spain because Eddie's doesn't have the time. So, <laughs> I've got all the proof of when we registered the test, um, and I think it'd be highly unlikely that we would have done two tests at different times. So what we've done to remedy this, uh, rather than just wait and, and hope for the best, I spent 25 minutes on hold to the company that we booked the test text with. Um, managed to get through and speak to Addy and he's assured me that this morning they will reissue the certificate and email it over. Now the biggest worry for me now is my name. <laughs> my name is not spelt in a traditional way. Everyone gets it wrong first time. And I know he read it back to me and I know I read it to him. So in theory, I should get that in the next hour but I can't remember the last time I was this nervous about anything. Once I've got that piece of paper, I know we don't have to haggle, we don't have to blag, we don't have to stress. I can relax and we can just go and enjoy our holiday. Until that arrives, I'm a little bit freaked out. In the elevator, George? Yes, we are. <laughs> Going down. Six. Yep. Let's go. Six. Top tip, guys. Don't forget to bring your European travel plugs um, in the cabin because they are two-pin Europe-type uh, connections. So if you want to charge your devices and stuff like that, bring your adapters. Right. Couldn't find a motorhome there for a minute, but there she is. Yeah. Look at that. 31 degrees. It's damn hot. We're sat in the in the van in the bottom of the ferry waiting to move out. I took the opportunity to have a quick shave and a freshen up, but it's hot. You hot, love? Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. So, didn't film much for you on this one. Um, just more of a video to tell you guys that we're safely over to Spain and the travel vlogs, the road travel vlogs, we're gonna start with the next video. Do you think we should make a final decision about where we're gonna head to? Uh, Burgos? Madrid, 
Yeah. Let's pick somewhere two hours from here. Well, Madrid's a lot more than two hours. I know, well, Madrid's a lot more. Let's pick somewhere two hours from here. With a pool. And have a chill out. Yeah. Relax. I've got a couple of videos to edit. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs to relax a little bit. It's oh, all been... Stressful. Mm. While we're waiting to disembark, I thought I'd just run you through the folder that I bring. I'm sure most people have a folder, not just me being a bit dorky. Um, this comes on every trip. Uh, the first thing in it are the headlamp beam benders in case we need to um, drive in the dark. We tend not to drive in the dark because so we just don't enjoy it. Um, but they're there if we need. Then we have the, the ferry tickets. There and back. Next we have the V5C. Um, just in case we have any issues with the van, we've got our proof of ownership here. Next is our comfort travel insurance. We have not just travel insurance, we've also got our international breakdown through comfort. So we know if I've got the paperwork here, I've got the phone numbers, I've got everything I need at my fingertips. Then it's a travel insurance, and I did take out extra COVID cover in case any of us didn't manage to get on this ferry. Uh, if anything went wrong, we were covered for that. And also if we get sick while we're away. But it's also normal travel insurance plus a COVID top up. It was just a little bit more to get that. Then towards the back, this is where this trip differs. I have got five of the SPTH forms which are the Spanish transport health tracking forms. So it, we have to declare where we're gonna stay and that we have been in contact with nobody who has tested positive for COVID. I also have the boys' um, negative test reports, which we paid privately for. They were 45 pounds each, and we got them through Brittany Ferry's favored um, partner, which is Randox. That was really good. And finally, in the same section, I've got mine and Steve's uh, double vaccination certificates, proving that it's more than two weeks since we had our second vaccination. Um, if we were going somewhere and we're staying in a hotel, I'd probably have all that paperwork too. Uh, I'm trying to think of other paperwork that I've taken with us. I tend to take it all, plus hard copies on my phone, downloaded to my phone, so they're, they're available offline. Plus, in our emails, I email Steve and I between us, um, we've got access to everything there as well. Uh, I know we seem like we do a lot of our planning on the fly, but it's always better to have your paperwork where you can get to it. Better safe than sorry. That was an interesting chat. The guy in the motorhome in front of us is driving a mobile wardrobe around his motorhome for Beverly Callard and Jordan, I think, from Radio 1. And we'd seen the, fam uh, the camera crew around up, up on the upper decks. And they're doing a road trip, I believe. It's supposed to be top secret, actually. I don't think we're meant to know. Um, <laughs> they're doing a road trip around Spain together. So that was quite an interesting little chat, hearing all about it. I think we're through. Was <laughs> that worry for you? <laughs> and straight through. All that stress and all they wanted to see was the passports. I'm not going to lie, I could cry. I have travelled around the world with and without the family and I have to say that was the most nerve-wracking entry into an area, into a country I've, I've ever experienced. But... We're in! We're in! We're in Spain! Yay. Yay. Considering that was a long old queue and it took us quite a long time to get through it, we were really surprised that all they wanted to see were our passports. Um, I had all the paperwork ready to show. I had all the story ready to talk about with the the um, the timestamp not being on Eddie's. I had the evidence of when we registered the uh, tests and all of it. It was all done and ready. All they wanted to see when we got to the front of the queue were our passports. They didn't check the fridge. 
they didn't check um, our paperwork, they didn't check our health forms, just our passports and checking our faces. In fact, they didn't even check the kids' faces. This time? No. No. Nope. Harry wants to go to Madrid. We haven't been to Madrid, so we're going to head to Madrid. But before that, I think we're going to stop off at Burgos. Lindsay's found a campsite at Burgos. Uh, not the same one that we stayed at last time, but it's got a pool. I found an independent campsite just outside of Burgos that looks stunning. It's got a pool, fingers crossed the pool's open. We're heading there now. We will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.